Hello, today we're going to be doing a profitability update for the RX 574 gigabyte going over, of course, our three favorite algorithms being Ethereum Classic, Ravencoin, as well as Ergo. Uh, for our calculations, we are going to be using 12 and a half cents per kilowatt hour. And the date of this uh, profitability check or recording is July 7th, 2021. So yeah, without further ado, I'll quickly go over the profitability. We're going to also take a look at the uh, difficulty of those three networks. And then I'm going to give you my final thoughts on what I am currently mining. But uh, yeah, without further ado, I'll just quickly go over the profitability numbers here. So at the top of the charts, we do have Ethereum Classic, 30 mega hash, 125 watts. That's what I generally can get on an RX 570 there. So we're doing about $1.60 in revenue. Uh, so about $1.20 in profit there after electric cost, assuming you sell every single day. Ravencoin is not that far behind at 12.5 mega hash for about 140 watts of power consumption. $1.56 revenue. Uh, you're looking at about a dollar ten to a dollar twenty in profit. Now I'm going to quickly address this here. Yes, you can run a higher hash rate on Ravencoin and get a better uh, and get better profitability. So if we go here, 13 mega hash, you're looking at about a dollar sixty. 14 mega hash, you're looking at about a dollar seventy five. However, when you overclock the GPU beyond 12 mega hash, I found the card will start using a lot, a lot more power. I have a video on my channel showing optimal overclock settings for the Ravencoin algorithm and in my tests when I went from 12 mega hash to like 14 mega hash my power draw just for the GPU alone went from about 130 140 watts up to about 175 watts for 14 mega hash which it's a lot less efficient your card's going to run a lot hotter and at the end of the day you're not going to make that much more in revenue because your power cost is also increased there from the increased power draw not to mention you also have to figure out how many power supplies do you have, how much wattage do you have available per GPU, and figure out all those calculations. Specifically, if you initially built your rig for mining something like Ethereum Classic, which has much lower power draw requirements than something like Ravencoin, and that can be a good topic we can cover in another video, is setting up your mining rig uh, so that you can mine multiple algorithms without worrying about burning a specific like cable or part like that. Uh, but anyways, Ravencoin is also a great option to mine at the moment because you are yielding quite a lot of Ravencoin for the given hash rate. Uh, moving along, we're going to take a look at Ergo is further down on the list, $1.50 revenue, a dollar in profitability. If we hop over here to the Hero Miners kind of stat board, you can see the network hash rate is about 14 terahash, but the difficulty has now caught up. The price isn't really doing that much, so that's why the profitability, even with our aggressive like 67 mega hash or even 70 mega hash overclock there, uh, isn't at the top of the charts just because the difficulty on this network is quite high at the moment. Uh, if we take a look at Ethereum Classic, which is the coin that I am currently mining, you can see I got a 12 RX 570. I have one 580 snuck in there, uh, but this is my main rig here. I am mining Ethereum Classic. Uh, the network hash rate is kind of staying in between like 23 terahash to 19 terahash. It fluctuates a little bit there. You can see, of course, the difficulty adjusts as well as the price in real time. And uh, yeah, 30 mega hash giving us about $1.60 in revenue there which is pretty good per day and we're also yielding pretty decent uh, Ethereum Classic there. Uh, the main reason that I'm mining Ethereum Classic is because it is the uh, it is the <laughs> what I'm trying to say here is it's the largest market cap coin for the RX 570 GPUs or out of the coins that you can mine it's the largest market cap there so I think it's the top 20 coin right now and uh, it does have quite a large volume of trade so it is a pretty stable coin uh, compared to something like Ravencoin or Ergo. So in my opinion, I'm just going to be mining Ethereum Classic. And currently, I am not selling every day. I am just watching the market, seeing what it does. If it goes up some more, I'll probably sell a couple Ethereum Classic. Otherwise, if it goes back down to like $40, I will sell out some of my mined coins. So right now, I am speculating on the price a little bit. Uh, but this is where everyone, you want to have your own cash out strategy. If you have a power bill that needs to be paid at the end of every month, you may want to consider cashing some out every couple of days when you get your minor payout. Say like, okay, one third is going to go towards paying my power bill. One third I'm going to cash out into stable coin just to hold on to. And one third I'm going to use to speculate on the future, either price appreciation or if the price does go down, that's why you have one of your thirds in stable coin. So there's so many different ways that you can kind of uh, break out your mining strategy. But yeah, quickly again on Ravencoin, 
uh, currently with 12 mega hash, which is the most efficient settings. You are still pretty much tied for the most profitable coin there, uh, but you are yielding a lot of Raven coins. So if there is a price appreciation, uh, you can definitely take great advantage of that because you'll have more coins. But now quickly touching on price appreciation. Um, personally, I've seen like I've ha I used to have a mindset where it's like, oh, if you go with a smaller coin, it could potentially go up a lot more than a higher market cap coin. Uh, but what I've also found is like when I've been mining Ethereum on a different mining rig, I also found that just mining Ethereum and not even bothering switching into like an altcoin could have actually been the better play because Ethereum can just as easily go from $2,000 to $4,000 as Ethereum Classic can potentially go from $50 to $100. Now, obviously, I'm no technical expert or anything like that, uh, but I'm personally just going to be mining Ethereum Classic. It's the lowest power draw out of the three altcoins that we're taking a look at. And to me, it seems the most stable out of all of them. And of course, you're all going to have different opinions on what to mine. I'm just here sharing what I'm currently doing, sharing my thoughts, as well as kind of like my cashing out strategy. And uh, yeah, that's basically all I wanted to cover in this video here. Again, Ethereum Classic is at the top of the list here. If this does change or another altcoin consistently is at the top of the list here to mine, I'm going to test that out. And if I can actually get the same mega hash numbers as listed in this profitability calculator, then I will make a video on it. And if you did make it this far in the video and you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see for content in the future around mining specifically, because I do have a lot of experience and knowledge in this area, you can let me know and I can potentially make a video and share some of that with you guys. Anyways, thanks so much for your attention and good luck mining. And uh, yeah, if you have any comments or questions, you can always feel free to reach out in the comment section below. Goodbye, goodbye.